Now, another style of parenting that a lot of men have that's selfish is blame parenting. And you've probably seen this. Blame parenting, a lot of times, is when we as dads talk about what could have been in our lives. And I always use the example of Uncle Rico. I call it kind of Uncle Rico parenting. You know, in the old movie, Napoleon Dynamite, Uncle Rico always talked about, you know, I could have been something if coach had just put me in. Well, a lot of dads apply that to how they live. If I hadn't had kids, I could have done this. I could have done that. So they sound a lot like Uncle Rico in their life. And, you know, there may be some reality to it. There may be some reality that, you know, you were moving a certain way in life and you got someone pregnant and you had to quit going that way and take up some responsibility. Okay, that's a reality, but you know, it's not the child's fault. And sometimes we blame our children. We blame them for saying, oh, I could have done this. I could have done that. If you hadn't been bored, well, what do you think that communicates to them? What do you think that tells them? And it's not like they did it on purpose. So why are we blaming children for things that we probably did? Blame won't help. It's not gonna help the situation. And a lot of times there's things we have to work through as men and we're blaming the child so we don't have to work through them. A movie that really encapsulates this well. There's a movie called 17 Again. It's a great example of someone who said, you know, oh, before I got married, I was all this, I was all that. You know, and kind of living in the past glory days. A lot of men do that. And that's a form of blame parenting. Because what they're saying is my life was better before I got married, before I had kids. Imagine telling your wife, hey, my life was great before I married you. That's not good. Imagine doing that to your children. But that happens all the time. And our society doesn't help us because society tells kids, these are the greatest days of your life. And they're not. They're often the dumbest days of their lives. Being young and stupid is not the best thing in the world. You don't know what you're doing at 16 or 17. Why are we telling them it's the greatest days of their lives? Getting older and wiser is so much better than being young. And we want to communicate that to children. But too many men don't do that because they're kind of blaming their kid. They're kind of saying, you know, I was great before I had kids. I was something before I had you. Kids don't care what you were before them. What they want is you to be something right now.